origin of 250 gemstones Sit back, relax, and grab some popcorn Well, it all started in the city of Mosul A nice town in the country of Iraq Yo, 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 Michael here, 250 gemstones exchange This is where I give you guys great content And in exchange, you guys leave a like, comment, or subscribe Hopefully all three of the above I just want to talk about uh, some of my favorite comedians. So, to be honest, I have a whole bunch. Eddie Murphy, Dave Chappelle, Robin Williams, Lavelle Crawford. I mean, this is so much. I love a good gut buster because life is short for the most part. You know, life ain't too fun. Especially, you know, when you come in, though, you got so many obstacles. and You know, your loved ones passing away. You got to deal with your punk ass boss at the job you gotta uh, do the rope of dope with your bills every month you gotta bob and weave on that damn car note you know what I mean so life has its up and downs that's why it's always good to have a good laugh but I was going through YouTube but I didn't see a lot of people talk about Jim Carrey in my personal opinion Jim Carrey's in my top three so here we go, here we go. Here's my top three, and uh, I want I want y'all to comment. Let me know what y'all think. Let me know what y'all think. So my top three is this uh, one being the greatest based off the comedians I see. Now there's a lot of comedians out there. You know it may change if I get the chance to see them. There's tons, tons. It's based off the amount of uh, in my experience and what I've seen. These are my top three. Do, 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 do. Number one, number one, number one. Chris Rock. Ooh, ooh. Chris Rock just bring it, man. When he did that, blacks versus niggas. Oh man, he and he clearly defined what was the difference. Because in the eighties and nineties, it was all jammed up. You know, the blacks were the ones that were working hard and going to school and they were being made fun of that was crazy they, and if the the blacks that were coming from good households the little ghetto girls would pick on them you know especially if you a black girl back in them days in certain neighborhoods and you cute and you got something going for yourself you're cute you're smart all the boys want to run up in you them ghetto girls gonna be on your ass and if you hood girl you get all the praise for being stupid Ain't that crazy? And when Chris Rock clearly defined what was the difference between blacks and niggas, oh man. When that nigga said he wants to join the Ku Klux Klan and do a drive by from Queens to Brooklyn, that, that mean he want to shoot up all. That means, <laughs> oh man, that that was just that was just classic. By me being an African African American male, by me being black. And me struggling with the difference because I knew that you can feel the difference. Some ain't right with them black folk over there. We got the same, we got the same skin color, but them motherfuckers don't think the same. They don't act the same. They just trifling. But Chris Rock, number one, number two, Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey. I mean, a lot. Of, I think a lot of people don't like Jim Carrey because he's over the top. He's like obnoxious, but. I like his obnoxiousness because it comes with the punchlines and the timing and there's actual meaning behind what he's saying. And I like his motivational uh, speeches too. And when you re that's why I say, when I judge people, I try to get as much absorbed, much of this person, their personality, their background, their upbringing, their whole story. And then when they go on stage and they bring it all together, I, I look at their... Uh, their comedy performance as a masterpiece. So Chris Rock, number one, masterpiece. Jim Carrey, masterpiece. Number three, I will have Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle. Uh, outside of the Dave Chappelle show, I like Dave Chappelle because he's more as a scenario comedian. Like He talks a little bit about him what's going on with himself, but it's mainly about business. You don't hear too much talk about... Uh, his kids and stuff like that. Uh, that'd be like more like Kevin Hart would be my next guy. But um, Dave Chappelle able to go political. You know, he's more than a political act. 
uh, aspect, more in the business aspect, in a uh, moral cultural aspect. So he got that down packed with the Dave Chappelle show, just classic. And he would say people run up to him in Africa talking about, I'm Rick James, bitch. He's like, what the fuck? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just like, it's just crazy. Dave Chappelle's three. Number four, Kevin Hart. Now, some people may say he's not as funny. He tries too hard. He laughs too much. He's like, he's really trying to be funny. I'm like, to be, in my personal opinion, the old, old Kevin Hart. You know what? I wouldn't even say the old Kevin Hart. The old Co- see, the Kevin Hart that you see on stage, that's just more family friendly. You know, the, he's so witty and so quick. He takes the simplest everyday scenario, which everybody can relate to, and he can turn it into his own and just make it funny. Because he's now, see, he's more family oriented. He talk about his retarded kids, talk about his daddy ain't wearing no drawers. When he was at his graduation, all he wore a sweat, so his thing is, is dangling and bouncing off his thigh. And the little girls in the, in the auditorium, or like in the stadium during his graduation, like, oh my God, get it. it's coming out. Or it's, it's like <laughs> his uh, delivery, his the way he can change his voice, impersonations, you know, you can actually believe it. Like, what little girl wouldn't be afraid of a man not wearing no draw and that thing just flopping all over the place, scared to death? You know what I mean? You know, he took the microphone and acted like he was his daddy's thing, thing. And he was like, but excuse me, excuse me. I'm like, <laughs> who thinks of this simple shit? Like, but even then, when he goes in his bag like that, even on his family, he go, goes in on his bag, you know. I'm talking about now Kevin Hart, the hood Kevin Hart. I don't think there's many comedians that can touch Kevin Hart when he's in his hood, when he's really trying to get on you. Now maybe he be in, he's a little bit Hollywood. I ain't gonna put him down. I don't know if it's a negative, but you know he's more business minded business minded now. So you know, but that Kevin Hart in his prime, on stage and off the stage when he's roasting people. I'm talking about when he's in the trenches with the wolves. Kevin Hart is a whole different. Man. You can just look at him though. Like, oh, his eyes are different. He's not all jolly jolly. No, he's really trying to tear some shit up. And that's the Kevin Hart. I don't think many mofos can touch. And uh, so, oh, I said top three. So my top three would be Chris Rock, Jim Carrey, Dave Chappelle. But my top five would be Chris Rock, Jim Carrey, Dave Chappelle. Kevin Hart at four. And number five, number five is going to be, is going to be. Oh, it's gonna be hard. This is hard. I like DL. I like uh, I like Bernie. Oh, it's between. I like Chris Tucker. Ah, I I, I really like Sinbad. Number five is gonna be hard, but I'm gonna keep the video short. Ah, shit, 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 shit. I gotta choose. I gotta choose. It's gonna be. Oh man, I'm talking about gut buster. Just with you. I'm going to say, love, oh, man, I got to put Bernie in. I'm going to have to say Bernie. But when I'm going to say who's tied with Bernie, and a lot of people don't give him a lot of praise. Bernie's my man. Like That's my solid top five. But if I have to put in a tie, it's going to have to be, uh, if I have to tie somebody with Bernie Mac, it's Sinbad. One reason, because this nigga is hilarious, and he never cussed. He never, never cussed. Family oriented. He talk. He can talk about politics. He's always upbeat. His energy on stage, and uh, you just so believe. He's just so polarizing, man. And Lavelle Crawford, just his stage presence when he can't breathe. The first time I saw him perform, I thought he's about to fall out. I don't know if they had to get uh, the uh, what you call it, the fire department. They're gonna give him mouth to mouth, get him an oxygen tank. I don't know if they had the helicopter. Uh, helicopters big ass about the out the stadium i don't know but the first time i saw him, he was like a big old whale and i'm like where he get this suit who made that suit <laughs> but uh this lavelle crawford's stage presence and his uh awareness of himself of how large he is he's not afraid to show it so y'all, who's y'all favorite comedians? What's y'all top five? And if you got somebody tied at five, let me know who it is, man. There's a lot of good comedians, man. 
There's a lot of people, white comedians, black comedians, Latino. Uh, I like George Lopez. You know, I like uh, Carlos Messi. Like, they got some good ones out there. You know what I mean? But y'all let me know. I'm out.